Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of getting into competitive CSGO. Uh, on this first episode, I'm just going to go over basic uh, config, you know, um, settings, and all these little things you need uh, in order in order for your game to run properly. So the first thing we're going to do is the config. You're going to go in your installation folder. So for most people, it's going to be in C program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Counter Strike Global Offensive. CSGO and CFG. Uh, so this folder right here. You're going to make a notoexec.cfg. Make sure it's really a CFG file and not just a TXT file. So if you're not sure uh, what you can do and it's really easy, just take one of these config folders and just copy and paste it. So we could copy and then paste that one and then we could rename it to autoexec. Alright, but I'm not going to do that since I already have one. So in this file, we're going to put, and I'm going to send you that link, we're going to put all these little things. What these do, and I'm going to go over them right at this moment. So the view middle commands right here. What they go over pretty much is to make sure that your guns, when you're running, move as less as possible. Uh, your mouse commands. Uh, Please note that I was not using raw input, but now I am because of Windows 8.1. But anyway, this removes all acceleration. So that's that. HUD commands, mostly preference. I like to have them in my auto exec, but it's just, you know, optimizing everything. Um, you know, not drawing your, tra your own tracers that helps for FPS, uh, radar settings, and, you know, all these little things. Muzzle flashlight is also a pretty cool command because you can see people shooting through through smokes. You see the little muzzle flash there. Sound command, uh, you know, just optimize your sound. It's not great in CS:GO, but still. Uh, then you get the you know rate and netcode commands right here. You pretty much want to leave these as is. Uh, pretty much the best settings you can get. All of these. Performance commands right here are going to give you a tiny bit of more FPS, maybe 20 maximum, but it's really not that big of a deal if you have a decent computer. And then these just to make sure that all your settings are safe. Don't worry, I'll post that link so you don't have to type them as you go. Uh, the link's going to be in the video description. So we're going to take all of these, copy them, you know, open your auto exec, and just paste them in there. And then you can just save it. Make sure it's really called autoexec.cfg. I already have my config, so I'm not going to save that myself. Now, we're going to go over something else. So you're going to go in your game. Not in your game, sorry. You're going to right-click on Counter-Strike Global Offensive on Steam. Go in Properties. Go in Set Launch Options. Here. Set Launch Options. And then you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff. Now, once again... The only commands you really want are those. These three ones right here. Make sure that you have no, you know, acceleration or anything from your mouse as much as possible. These ones, except maybe the Novit command and the console. So all these ones make make sure you have the highest performance as possible. Now I have a 120 hertz monitor, so I use a refresh 120. So if you don't you can just remove that one completely. It really doesn't matter. But once again, I'll post these in the video description just to make sure. So you take all of those, you know, paste them in there. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that because I already have them. And then click OK. So when that's done, we're just going to launch our game. So now that the game's launched, go. Is the camera going to kick in anytime soon? There you go. Alright. Now you get all these blue things. Obviously, that's the workshop. We're going to close that. And then we're going to go in options. We're going to go in video settings. Now, all of these, um, pretty much what you want. Uh, a lot of players are going to tell you that, you know, widescreen's better or, or 4.3 is better and whatnot. It's really all preference. 
really doesn't matter. Same for hot scale. Uh, brightness, I tend to think you want as low as possible to get a clearer screen. But then again, it's still uh, preference. Uh, laptop power savings, you want that disabled, 100% sure. And I, as I said, Steam notification, come on, that's just preference again. Now, um, okay. So, in CSGO, you want as much FPS as you can. Uh, there's a lot of people saying you want, you know, as long as you have 128 FPS and over, you're fine. Um, I used to believe that. I don't know if it's in my head, but I feel like once you get to 300, that's the sweet spot you want to hit. So 300 and over is pr practically what you, have, what you want to have at any time. So as you can see, I have pretty much everything to the lowest as possible. You want to make sure that multi-core rendering is enabled right here. And everything else you can just set to whatever you want. Obviously, you don't want motion blur because who wants that? Uh, but everything, for me at least, is set to lowest. Uh, I, I see some people using, you know, texture filtering mode to uh, anisotropic, like 8x. That's fine as well as long as you have the machine to run it. It shouldn't really matter that much. And other than that, I mean, you should be set. Uh, this is pretty much uh, the optimal settings you want. Now, that's your game. Now, you've been playing the game with these settings. And let's say you feel the colors are a bit dull still. And you don't, you don't see uh, that well. There's a little trick here that we can do. If you have an NVIDIA card, I'm not sure how AMD works, but you're going to go in, you're going to go in your NVIDIA control panel, and you're going to go in adjust desktop color settings, and right here you have digital vibrance. I have mine all cranked up to 100%. That's because I use Light Boost uh, on my ASUS monitor, but you know some people prefer 75, 80, whatever. Default is 50, so I use 100%. Colors are a lot more crisp. They, they they really pop out a lot more. You can see uh, enemies a lot faster, in my opinion. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you learned something, and I hope I helped you with that. And see you in, see you in the next one.